Yeah, that's fine. Or we can put it in the very back. That's all right. There's plenty of points. Wait, you don't mind if I keep you company? Don't you bother me in this bit. <laughs> you like peppermint? No, I'm good, thank you. Okay. This is always the exciting part for me. This is the first time I've uh, ever used Uber. Oh, how you like it? So far, so good. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'll tell you if we get there alive. I'm hoping we do. <laughs> I had a friend that was an airline pilot, and he was flying people for a long time, and then he switched to freight. And I said, well, is it less stress now that you're oh, not worried about all those people? He goes, hell no, I never worried about the people, I worry about myself. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that makes sense, actually. Well, yeah, you just shut that door and don't even know they're there. Well, you're, you're not going to crash because you don't want to die. Pretty much. That, that's my thought behind it. But there has been times when people have asked me things. It's like, well, you know, there's a good thing about when people ride in the back and there's a bad thing. It's like, what? Well, if they ride in the back, it makes them easy to do stuff towards me. Right. But I always tell them, but I got an airbag. <laughs> you got an headrest. But you don't have very much uh, risk here, do you? I mean, it's a pretty safe town. It, it's getting uglier. Is it? Yes, it is. That's too bad. But I'm not too worried about what they're going to do. Take my car. Fine. I'll get another one. I got insurance. There's a tracker on it. Take it. <laughs> not going to go far. Well, generally, with the economy hurting so bad, people get more desperate. They get more yes, they angry, they get more desperate, and it's, it's too bad. And I do event security, and I do it in Peoria, in Bloomington, a couple of other places. And I can definitely tell you there is a difference between the people in Peoria and the people in Bloomington. Yeah. They're nice in Bloomington. Yeah. They are not in Peoria. Well, it's interesting because I'm from California, and well, I'm, I'm, my dad lives here, but I mean, I, I'm visiting and stuff. But when I come here, it's like a different planet. The, cul the culture is yeah. different. It's very different. I mean, I'm, and I find that the people, a lot of the people at the stores are much more angry and more, yeah. more hateful. In California, I think the sunshine makes people happier, I think. I don't know. And I do believe that's the difference between Peoria and Bloomington. Yeah, same Bloomington, idea. And it just seems Peoria people are angry. Well, one thing I notice is specifically the black people. In, in San Diego, sure, there's still some discrimination and there's still some prejudice, but it's way lower. Here, I get the sense the black people are always looking at you like, yes, they are. like you're going to abuse them. Like, and so I, I have a feeling there's more prejudice here directed at them than there is where I'm from. They're always surprised when I'm nice. I don't, like, I'm very cheerful. Like, hey, how are you? And, you know, they look at me kind of like suspicious. Oh, <laughs> drive them around, they, it's the same thing. Yeah. But I don't know if it's, they're expected to be treated different or do they want to be treated yeah, it's, too. I don't know. I just noticed the difference, you know. I, I get along what, much better. It's more equal in California. It, it's still yeah, not here. equal, but it's more equal. It's There's a, there's all kinds of Vietnamese and Mexicans and black people. And, I mean, they're, they're, but there's some of everybody. And so, everybody there, seems there to be better. There is something. I don't know what that something is. But you get used to it. It's a different culture. It's yep. like going to a different country. <laughs> you say it's like that between Peoria and Bloomington. Oh, it, and the only thing I can think between Peoria and Bloomington is the jobs. Bloomington is more white collar. Okay. Office, stuff like that. Peoria is more factory based. And, and that's dying off. They're dying off. They've been treated horribly. Yeah. They're mad. Unfortunately, they're mad at the wrong people. Yes. 
Yes. You know, the people to be mad at are the corporation executives. They're the ones that stole the jobs. Yep. You know, it's real simple. I knew a guy who worked at Sony, you know, the electronics office. I think they're road patching, probably. Yep. That's what they're doing. Boy, that's a full-time job around here, isn't it? Oh, gosh. This won't even come close. I've often wondered, can I, why they don't put concrete in there instead of asphalt? Because the asphalt washes out. Get a concrete truck and just... And I think it would stay longer. I don't know. What do I know? Well, it, you go to Allen Road. Which is a very busy road on... I know it. It's a concrete road. And last year they went through and cut channels in it and poured blacktop. <laughs> it's cheap. It's easy to have. They're set up for it. But I think that's a mistake. And they do it everywhere. They do it oh, yeah, because they don't settle the same. No. It creates all that... Th 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 yeah, it's just... I don't know. It just seems like rather than fix them four times, fix them one time with concrete. But yeah. The concrete road will last longer. Anyway. But if you do a bad job patching it or you cut it open and replace it with cheap material, no, it won't. Yeah. But anyway, this guy who worked at Sony, he said, because I, I was complaining, we're sending all our jobs to China. We're sending all the money to China. Well, it's not true. All the jobs are going to China. The money is staying here. Yeah. So what happens is he said, if we sell an electronic device for a hundred bucks, we pay China five bucks to make it. All that other 95 bucks stays here. I don't know what it is. Well, so so what's happening is they're making more money, but they're giving it to themselves instead of to the workers. All greed is it's huge not here. Gonna, it's not gonna fix the problem. You nope. gotta you gotta get rid of the greed. I don't think they ever can. Well, you can't get rid of greed. It's human. But now the greed is all on the corporation side. Then for a while. Greed was on the union side. I mean, they were just as bad. Yep. The teamsters and the auto workers, all of them, were, they were just taking, 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 taking. And so it's a seesaw. Right now, it's like this. The unions are getting killed. The corporations are being greedy. It, it never stays in balance. When I was younger, it was in balance better, like in the 70s. Yes, it was. I'm, I'm 63. In the 70s, I worked, so I worked at steel mills. Fairly even, but no, uh, I don't know. So anyway, the people get mad at the wrong people. Well, everybody's watching the clown instead of what's going on. They're watching Trump. It has nothing yeah. to do with it. He can't. He didn't break it, and he can't fix it. No. So it's a diversion. All the, all the Wall Street guys are sitting there laughing all the way to the bank. Oh yeah, they are the bank. Ton of money. <laughs> it's it's wrong. And until that gets fixed, it's not going to get fixed. Man, they bought off Congress. Oh, God, that thing is... They're all the same. They're all the same. Well, that's where I tell people, watch what happens when it's not a voting season. They're all best friends. I guarantee they all go to their kids' birthday parties. They all go here. As soon as it's an election season, they're all yelling at each other, saying, you're a crook, you're doing this. But as soon as the cameras are off, all back to being buddy buddy again. Yep. That's all I'm just going to here. That's good. Uh, it's it's so, all fake. So big the show. Orders, it is a big show. That's exactly. The, all the journalists are all got pulled into the corporation. None of that's actually legit anymore. It's all just a big show. They're laughing all the way to the bank. Yeah. And they don't care who's in. They give the same money to Democrats or Republicans. They, they own all of them. They don't care who wins. No. It changes a little, but not much. No. It doesn't matter where they spend the money, but they don't spend the money that they don't have. It's going to be bad. It's going to go... Eventually, something will happen. We're going to see a worse depression than they even have any clue about in the 30s. I don't know. We'll see. Quite a few believe there's going to be another civil war in our history. And that will probably be the only thing that will change the greed factor. Uh, history, historically, the last
last 2,000 years, it's the same thing over and over again. The greedy people steal all the money from the poor people, the poor people kill them off, and then they start they over. They become the greedy. <laughs> and then they start yeah. over. It's, it's too bad. It has been going on for thousands of years. And all the greedy believe, you know, believe, well, we can control the military. Don't realize that the military is made up of the poor people. I still, I still think we have the best country, hands down, in the whole world. Oh, yes. And I think that it's designed in such a way that it might gradually fix itself. Maybe without a civil war. Maybe, maybe. I hope. <laughs> I, well, I, I rely on it. I'm not going to... I don't want fighting. I don't want inequities. I don't want any... That's all bullshit. It's all a waste of time. Yeah, Everybody's... It is. As long as people are not being productive building things, making things, growing food, then it's a waste of energy. Mm -hmm. It's a waste of time. Your fighting is a waste. In this country, we, we've moved away from the creation for a while. Yeah. Just became a user. And that don't last long. It needs to be fixed. I don't know much about Caterpillar, but I know they took all the Hotsy Totsy guys and took them to Chicago. Yes, they did. And I don't know why. Maybe they don't want to be around when the, the people rebel. <laughs> New CEO likes Chicago better than Peoria. It's bullshit. And that's basically what he did. We're going to move the headquarters there. Yeah. Really? Okay. It's, it really sends a really bad message. It does. All the way around. That you're willing to drop your original everything just because somebody don't like being here. <laughs> Pers because of their personal needs. Yeah. Well, that's how CEOs are everywhere. They, they, it's all about them. Why the hell do CEOs make twenty million dollars a year? They, nobody's worth that much money. Nobody. It's all upside down. The guys doing the work, building the stuff, get, get screwed over. Yep. The guys who don't do shit, they're taking all the money. It's like, it's, and that's a lot of companies. I see it. Oh, yes. All yes. over the place. Most people realize the higher up you go, you'll make more and do less. That says it. I like the people who do the work. Get their hands dirty. Work. I've always liked that. Anymore, it don't pay bills. That's the biggest problem. Oh, yeah, that, that is the biggest problem. <laughs> Absolutely. You said you work two jobs more in security? I do this, I do event security, and I have a very, very small aerial photography. Oh, nice. Business. You're doing some drone stuff? Yeah. Oh, nice. Have fun. Toys. <laughs> Boys and their toys. <laughs> Everyone says go have fun, and I'm like, yeah, I fly for an hour, and I spend 12 hours editing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did the fun go? Well, that is that. <laughs> it's like my daughter says, I keep saying, why don't you do music for... She goes, I don't want to do anything I love for, for a job. No, you'll hate it. Because then I won't love it anymore. You'll hate it. <laughs> She's right. Oh. She's just a kid. She knows. <laughs> it gets bad quick. I live in front of a computer most of the time. It's like, oh my god, I hate this now. It's good to know the skills, though. It comes in handy. I mean, you just never know when you want to Photoshop something. It's a tool. It's, a, it's yeah. like knowing how to use a drill in the garage. Yep. Or a jackhammer or whatever else. You need to know how to use a tool. That's how I see it. My dad, 99, he's, he knows how to use a computer. Like nothing, he's good at it. Really, well, they are very I'm really handy. proud of him. I'm really proud of him. I okay, feel... so my first time, how does this work? Oh, this works real easy. <laughs> I hit this button. I do this. I can change that if I want, but I never do. Yeah. And it's done. And that's it? That is it. What about tipping? Now on yours, on your end, it will also let you rate. Maybe it, maybe I it do just, believe it should. As long as you choose the afternoon frame. 
and you can go in if you do a I do that. five it brings up that window okay if you wish and how much is the bill i don't know how much the bill is no it don't it should have told you at the and, beginning and never did, never it's did. supposed to give you an estimate i will cheat i will do what they don't allow us to do it's not showing me hang on here if you're not <laughs> if you're not in a big hurry i can make, no, I'm not, i can I mean, force it to where it will show i'm just curious that's all Oh, no problem. I'm a geek. Okay, I like this stuff. I believe that is yours. And I will show you. Come on. Load it up. Yeah, that is you. The total that you paid. Uber gets. They get a service fee and a booking fee yeah, yeah, yeah. mine was this and then when I hit I'm gonna hit a tip okay so mm -hmm. I got like that and I say done and, and then on. it'll come back later and show it but the only difference you had on yours and I'm gonna point it out you had a surge you kicked in what that is at that time it was busier in your area and so it charged an extra one and a half times yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. For that. It did tell me there was a surge, but it, it never said the price. Ah, that's probably why. Oh, that's okay. So I'm done. But it, yeah, but it, it is. It's nice. It's a good system. It's fairly cheaper. Now you will get. Now, if you ever get a bad driver you never want, give them a one star, and you'll never get that driver to show up again. Okay, well, it's my first time, so I'm, I guess I'm lucky. I just <laughs> I mean, there, there's some good drivers, there's some bad drivers. It's like anything else in the Right. Life. Take your pick. They're good riders, they're good passengers. Pleasure to meet you. Enjoy. Have a good time. Come back. Yeah, only when I have to. Bring better weather. I don't come here for vacation. I come here to see my family. <laughs> come visit more. I live where everybody goes for vacation, so I don't, never, yeah. I don't need to do that. <laughs> you have a good one.